Six News Storm Team. 517 here and made it midway through our week here. Just starting our Wednesday morning off and a little cooler, like I said, than yesterday. But still, I agree with you. Still pleasant. Yes. Still nice out there. It's still a good morning to get out there and, you know, just sit on your front porch and drink mm -hmm. a cup of coffee. It might be a little bit chilly. Might need to put on a sweatshirt. Okay. But that's, that's when you All get right. to enjoy it the most. Oh, you I know? can't go do that now. Okay. Yeah, and we got a job to do here. <laughs> ah. But at least the rain has let up, you know. You mm -hmm. know, we're finally starting to see our skies start to clear on satellite and radar. Mostly that rain has moved off into eastern portions of Montana. A little bit more clear here in North Dakota proper. Really not going to see much in the way of rainfall until we get into these more afternoon hours. And we also need to remember that there is a bit of a blank spot when it comes to radar when it comes to Williston. So you can kind of see it here where it slightly disappears headed into Williston and out towards the eastern portions of Montana. So there are some rain showers there. They're just really low. So the radar just kind of shoots over them a little bit. So you really can't see them on radar, but they are out there right now. Now looking at our temperatures for today, we're going to see those temperatures right now in the 40s. So really relatively nice, about five, six degrees cooler than they were yesterday. They're not very much cooler, but that paired up with the additional moisture we got yesterday. It's just feeling a little bit more chilly out there. Definitely a morning worth wearing a jacket maybe a windbreaker, but you don't aren't going to need anything that's going to be too thick as far as layers are concerned. So just bundle your kids up just a little bit on their way out to school. Now, as we look at the highs for this afternoon, we're going to be in those low to mid 50s into the low 60s. We have 62 for the capital, 61 up in Minot. So as we get into these afternoon hours, you're definitely going to wear and want to wear a, a medium layer underneath that jacket. Definitely something that you can, you know, take off a layer as we get into these afternoon hours because it's going to warm up and it's going to feel quite warm because we're going to get a lot of sunshine today as well. Looking at our wind speed and direction, we've got a bit of a mix in the direction. You know, we've got a bit of a, 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 a cyclone going on here where we've got some southerlies in the southern portion of the state. We have some easterlies in the northern portion of the state anywhere from 5 to 15 miles an hour. Nothing that's going to be gusting too strong. Looking at our precision cast for the next couple of days, we've got those rain showers that are going to develop this afternoon across the northern portions of the state. As we head into Thursday, it gets a lot more scattered, so we don't have a lot of moisture for today. We have even less for tomorrow, so not a whole lot of lift, not a lot of moisture. These are going to fall apart quite quickly, so it's going to be up and then out and then gone. Now, as we head into Friday, some very small chances for moisture, but overall looks like to be just a very cloudy day. Nothing that's going to really impact your afternoons. And as we head in towards the weekend, maybe some rains off to the eastern portions of the state, but looking relatively clear in wind gusts for the next couple of days. They're going to start to calm down this afternoon, going to be relatively calm until we get into Friday. We'll finally see a return to those 30s and 35s. Your Williston five day forecast is going to start off in the 50s, get into the 60s for a day, and then we'll see 70s pretty much through the weekend. So a very nice warm up is on the way. Your Dickinson five day forecast, much of the same 60s for a couple of days. We stay in those 60s for one more day until Friday and then 70s for that weekend. And we still have a couple of rain chances left yet this week. Your Minot seven day forecast is going to start off in the 60s. They're getting into the 70s for the weekend and then keeping the 70s for the start of next week. And look at that. Another couple of overnight temperatures in the 50s. Your Bismarck seven day forecast starting off in the 60s really nice nicely getting into the 70s through the weekend and then 70s for the start of next week overnight temperatures in the 40s and between Saturday and Sunday another overnight with the temperatures at 50. You know you you lived in Arizona for a while so mm -hmm. you know how hot it can get I predict my family my daughter and husband anyway on what is it what day is it going to be 75? 75? Yeah 75 on one of these days they're going to complain it's so hot outside. Yeah. <laughs> But then you have Nicholas over here who wants 100 degrees, so. I don't know, like those 110 degree days yeah. in Arizona are just, they're they're brutal. You know, I'm, yep. I'm, I'm so glad to be home back in North Dakota. <laughs> I won't miss a single one of those days. Yes. I won't miss the cactus. They're pretty to look at from a distance, right. but. You can get one in a little pot. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> I'm keeping those out of my house because. Oh, you got little kids. You don't yeah. want to. Little kids, somebody might move it and then all of a sudden yep. you trip into it and then, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you're getting stuck with thorns. They're just a yep. bad time. I'm That's good. A, keep a, keep the cactuses out of my house. <laughs> I'm okay. That's not my thing. Sounds good. <laughs> good, good words of wisdom. Thanks, Hunter. Still to come on Good Day Dakota as we continue to get warmer and more people hop on.